All right, so uh, this is basically day two, and I have to come to the property here to do some weed. Wha you know, yesterday uh, there's weeds all over the thing, so I got to get the weeds uh, whacked down. And uh, today I came with the weed whacker to get like the hard spots because there's a lot of slopes. But uh, I'm actually going to come with a big bush whacker to knock the other heavier stuff down with uh, in the flat areas and the um, areas I can get to because it's way too much work with just a weed whacker. But uh, so it kind of exposed what we got down by the seawall. I knew there was areas that where there was trees cut down and trees were pretty much twisted up from the storm. So I knew I had to uh, get those exposed before I came in with the bushwhacker because that's I don't want to run into those things and damage it and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, I'm just going to show you what I did today, and uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So er early stage, early days, early stages here. So as you can see, I uh, did some some bushwhacking here or weed whacking, and exposed like this thing right here. I don't even know what this is, some kind of bricks, blocks and stuff. So I'm gonna have to get that taken out. And then you can see there's a little bit more here and uh, it gets kind of steep here. So you can't really do this with, without a weed whacker. So anyways, I exposed this ditch right here. I don't want to fall into that ditch, so that's good. And then uh, most importantly down here, I got this exposed. So this is a tree that they literally cut. This is a used to be a gorgeous, beautiful oak tree back in the day before Hurricane Michael basically blew this thing away. And they just cut it off. And I don't know how the heck I'm going to get this thing out of here, but it's going to have to come out. And then I got a second one right here that I was able to expose. And again, this grass was super high. It was easy to trip on and stuff. So I'm going to get this one taken out. And those are the two major stumps so and then lastly like this is a big deal right here so this is my seawall which is failing as you can see um i actually have two seawalls here so this is the project that i'm going to be working on pretty soon while i'm uh, letting some of the house building stuff uh anyway so you see this concrete wall right here basically this was an original concrete wall and it's actually still holding pretty well but it's it's leaning forward because of all the pressure so this concrete wall which you can't see it right here because i got the grass on there the concrete wall i'm going to keep it in place you can see it's cracked right here where my foot is you can see that it's cracked so it's giving way but it's still holding and then this wall was built in 19 i think 56 and then in 1984 this wood wall was built right here and this wood wall that's how they do a lot of sea walls back then and they still do them this way but as you can see this thing's given away it's just not it's not gonna it's not gonna be suffice so we're gonna actually put a new sea wall in and i'll come down here on the uh, beach side and show you what it looks like so i got this is actually my neighbor's beach right here and uh, it's a little bit messy, but uh, nothing I can do about that. So, anyways, here's the here's the front of the seawall, and uh, as you can see, it's it's in serious need of replacement. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to tear this wood seawall out and put it in my new one, or I'm going to uh, build a new seawall in front of it, which I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Put a new seawall in front of it. So it'd be easier that way. Anyways, that's it. That's what I've got done so far. And uh, you can see the seawall here. It's kind of coming apart too. And it goes ties back into the grade there. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. And I'm looking forward to doing this project. I'm probably going to buy a tractor and uh, use the tractor to... Oh, I didn't even show you this. So this is the old dock that was destroyed. And I'm going to replace this whole dock. So that's gonna be a pretty awesome project. I'm gonna need a little help with that because I don't have some of the equipment I need, but most of the uh, most of it I'm gonna do myself and the seawall I'm also gonna do myself with with the help of this tractor. So, hey, it's my daughter, so hey, Sky. Hi. Anyways, that's the end of it, and uh, we'll keep you updated on progress as we do it, so.
Thanks for tuning in.